This method may actually increase the dynamic range within the NX1 and also other NX cameras. This method requires that the gamma control within video settings is set to normal and that a custom profile is created with the following settings. These settings have been used for the purpose of this demonstration, but of course there's nothing to stop you changing them at a later date and experimenting yourself. Here are a few examples that demonstrate the technique. Example 1, Gamma Control Normal, Picture Wizard Off, Exposure Compensation 0. This was shot in Auto Exposure Mode using Aperture Priority. As you can see from the scopes, we have a very wide dynamic range from the blacks clipping to the whites clipping. Okay, if we increase the gamma a lot, just to see what's going on in the shadows, as we look at the close-up there, we can see plenty of artifacts. Example 2, Gamma Control Normal, Picture Wizard is our custom settings. Exposure compensation is at zero, same scene. And as we look at our scopes, we can see the blacks are clipping possibly even more. But this time the whites are not clipping at all. They are much lower in the scope. And as we look at our increased gamma shot, we can see very strange artifacts indeed, especially on the close-up here. Okay, example three, Gamma Control Normal Picture Wizard is our custom settings. This time the exposure compensation is plus 1.3. Now if we look at our scopes we can see there's now a much greater range in the shadows and the highlights are still not clipping. Okay, let's take a look at our increased gamma shot and you can see from the close-up that there are a lot less artifacts. Example 4, Gamma Control Normal, Picture Wizard Custom, Exposure Compensation on this occasion is plus 1.6. Let's take a look at our scopes and we have an even broader range in our shadow areas and the highlights are still not clipping. Let's take a look at our increased gamma shot and as we zoom in we can see even less artifacts than the previous example. Example 5 Gamma Control Normal Picture Wizard Custom Exposure Compensation plus 2. Okay let's take a look at our scopes and we can see a broader range in the shadows but this time the highlights are at the point of clipping. Okay, let's take a look at our increased gamma shot and if we look closely at the uh, elephant in the room you can see artifacts are returning. So what can we conclude from this? That this method actually does increase the dynamic range of the NX1. How it works in the real world I haven't yet had a chance to test it so that's down to you. But this is the standard exposure from the camera with zero profiles and then this is the exposure using this method described with plus 1.6 exposure compensation. Again, this is the scope, zero profiles, auto exposure. Again, this method, plus 1.6 exposure compensation. I expect the results and the settings to vary according to the scene, but if you do give it a try, I'd be interested to know your results.